The door was just too fast and it just literally locked Rachel out of it. This is it guys. This is the Bucharesti. <laughs> we can't wait. That we've noticed there's a lot um, of Romanian flags about. That's the first of thing. Romanian flags. This train station's name is so cool. We're gonna go to Old Town now. So we have to take a train. And yesterday we bought this weekly ticket. So it's gonna get to everywhere, I think, in the metro area. We paid about 25 lei, and then it's about 8 euros. Super cheap for a week. Okay, we're in the metro. Already I've noticed the metro is a little bit outdated, but it's got like a kind of trendy vibe still to it. It's got that kind of Berlin kind of vibe, this metro a little bit. I think our real first impression of Focus is it's kind of like a mixture of everywhere we've been to. Yeah. It's like a Czech, it's like Poland, it's like uh, Budapest, it's like... It's like all it's of like European... Berlin, everywhere. Yeah, it's like all of European cities mixed into one. <laughs> That's what really what it's like so far. So I really like this. I reckon this makes it so much easier, guys. I really love that so many people in the city. I know I've been saying it a lot in other cities too. It kind of gives you the same vibe. One thing I've noticed is that there's actually a lot of street merchants here too. So there's a lot of people kind of selling things off the street. Another thing I've really noticed in Bucharest is that there's so many young people everywhere. It's just like about from 15 to 25, there's just a lot of young people. It's like a uni town. That's kind of the vibe I get. So it's a very happening place, I think. Just arrived into the more older part of town, and you can see the cobblestone streets. There's <laughs> Rachel, and um, we're just loving it. It's just, it's such a nice, it's very nice, balmy day here. Yeah, it's very lovely. We've noticed that there's so many people just kind of sitting down, relaxing. Maybe it's the weather that's gotten a little bit nicer, but it's just it seems like such a lovely place to relax here in Bucharest. So I'm wondering if this is a city more that's full of nightlife or more fashion. So far I've noticed that it is pretty fashionable. There's a lot of fashion stores, even boutique fashion stores I've seen quite a lot of it. And judging from this kind of street here, it seems like nightlife could be a thing here too. This old town also seems really big. It's just the cobblestone streets just keeps going and going and going. Oh, cool! Got this Dracula theme. See, you don't need to go to Brussels. One restaurant is called the Chicken Stuff. I don't get it. What is Chicken Stuff? Not even Chicken Stuff. Chicken Stuff. Mm. Maybe all the waitresses and waiters, they're all chicken. Found a place that's got even a weirder name. Cats on Fire. What do you think about that name? Cats on fire. Cats on fire? Yeah, cats on fire. Cats on fire, chicken staff, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> Is it a joke? What the hell? Got some postcards for our patrons. Oh, we love our patrons, they're so lovely. Anyway, so I've got some. Patreon He's clingy. He looks so cute. This is doormat. Really heavy. Who's heavier than me? Oh, door stop. Yeah. Oh. Not doormat. <laughs> He's not a doormat, but he probably is a doormat. He's doormat. Whoa. He, he is so. He or she is so heavy. Oh, cute. He's cute. He's like a donkey oh. hippo. He's got, he's got this mohawk. Hmm. You impressed with this place, Rach? Mm. It's impressive, isn't it? It's impressive. And I'm thinking it's really odd that a private store became a famous touristy kind of place. So it's not only us. There are so many people who are trying to take pictures and videos. 
um, I was in their ways as well. <laughs> So far, we're really loving Bucharest. We're here in this amazing bookstore. Um, it's so photogenic. You can see why so many Instagrammers are always taking photos here. And we saw it here too. There's just so many people taking photos. They're going from one side to the other. It's really, really fun. And so we're here at this cafe on this kind of upper level. So we're here just chilling out, having a nice, what do we order? A cappuccino, Viennese. So one thing we always like to do when we go overseas is order a coffee. And it's always a good little part of the first impressions because you can kind of see how they make their coffee. And that's a big deal for us too, because as big coffee lovers, it's always interesting to see how exactly they make their coffee. If it's a big one, if it's in a glass, it's always a bit different with those. So looking forward to our first coffee ever in Romania. Mm. It's so good! Mm. Oh. So we ordered a Viennese cappuccino, but which I've never really had one like this. It's kind of small, but it's still got a lot of the cream. Mm. It's so good, it doesn't even need sugar either because the cream is just so... It's got a little bit of sweetness, so it's so good. Dulce, isn't it? It's nice. Mm. Mm. Very sweet, it's yummy. Mm. Doesn't need sugar. If you look around here, we've got the view out here. It's like amazing. Just like here, you can see. It's pretty cool. Here I've got my samale and I'm really looking forward to it. Look at this, it's stuffed cabbage. I think this is bacon here. Some kind of chip thing. I don't, this one, it looks very, very foreign to me. And polenta, which is like, look how perfectly shaped it is. But also, which is a bit interesting, is a whole massive chili. <laughs> that was also another big surprise. That's so funny. I'm gonna taste this first, because I'm a bit intrigued. Is it chips or? Mm. I'm not even sure what it is what I'm tasting, but it is so delicious. It's got like a cabbage. Mm. It's very like sour. It's like a sauerkraut, but with a lot more flavor. It's really yummy. But let me try this. Oh, this falls apart. I didn't expect it to be so... Crumbly. Crumbly. I don't know if you can see in there, so... It's really delicious. Oh my god. This is really, really, really yummy. <laughs> Love samale. Mm, I can see now why, sometimes you wonder, why is this the national dish of a country? This one is the national dish, and you know what? They got it right, Romanians. It's really, really yummy. Mm, this is very different consistency to what I actually imagined it to be. Oh man. There is not one part of this dish that is not yummy. I imagine that this isn't going to be spicy, otherwise it wouldn't be just like that. Mm, I'm right. It's more, more tastes like a capsicum than a chili. So, overall, two massive thumbs up from me. Yours looks big, Rach. This is really interesting because, I mean, I've ordered a traditional dish, but a ribs? I don't know, it sounds pretty American to me. We'll see how Romanians cook ribs. It definitely looks massive, right? It looks massive. A lot of chips going on. Look. My heart is pumping. It's amazing. <laughs> wow. Mm. It took a while to be served, but I think they did an amazing job. So tender. Mm. I like this barbecue sauce, it's really yummy. Ooh. And look at the size of ribs, it's crazy. Rachel's in a happy place right now, why wouldn't you be? And mm, to be honest, I had a bit of food jealousy with yours, Rach, but then I tried mine, and mine I'm very happy with. Mm. Mm. The one looks amazing too. Mm. At first glance, I thought 
It looks like kimchi. Kimchi is a fermented Korean national dish. And it looks quite similar. Mm. Yummy, isn't it? Really delicious. I love mm. that. Mm. Seriously, it's so full. Yeah, oh. so full after that food. It's incredible. Massive. Yeah. I didn't expect to have ribs for lunch. Yeah, <laughs> that's so, so true. We've spent about 39 lei for my ribs, and I just can't believe how affordable it was. It's very budget friendly here. We're in the we're in Old Town, and we had two meals, and it was just ended up being so cheap. So um, very budget friendly. Yeah, prices shouldn't really matter while you're traveling, but that matters the most. So far, Macarista has given me some interesting ideas. First, architecture. So here, the architecture is kind of like a mixture of everything. It's like modern buildings mixed with some historical buildings. And the next one, which I worried about the most, is the safety here. Yesterday, we arrived in here and I instantly noticed here is not what people said to us at all. It just seems normal, like people go to work, um, have a dinner out. I didn't find nothing really so strange. One thing I've noticed about Romanian people so far is that they're really in a good mood. It's a bit louder, a bit more just in a friendly mood. I don't know, it's hard to put it to work. And another myth about Romania is that there's so many dogs everywhere. Uh, we saw a straight cat yesterday, but that was it. I haven't seen one single dog walking around. I'm sure we'll see them. Hopefully we see them because I really love dogs. Okay guys, I lost Rachel. <laughs> it's crazy, I'm a bit worried because we were just getting on a tram train and we were wondering, is it the one, isn't the one? And then I said, okay, let's go, it is the one. But by that time it had left, I got on and the, the, um, the door was just too fast and it just literally locked Rachel out of it. So I tried to mind my way the best because through the through the door I had to tell her stay at that station I'll come get you I hope she heard me because she's got nothing she doesn't have the keys she doesn't have anything um, so I'm gonna get on this train now and we'll see hopefully she's at the last station I found her I found her oh my god that's actually the first time in our whole Europe trip that we lost each other the first time so sad it was sad and it was so I, I was hoping that you understood for me to say to stay. I didn't know. Oh, I was just hoping, hoping desperately. No, no, come on, stop oh. it. And we were desperately looking at each other. Oh. And we're like, oh, we knew. It was just like, oh. And the thing is, you know, I can't really contact him. He just got his data. Yeah. And I don't have a data. And plus, my battery was. Oh, your battery Getting was dead really, too. Yeah, really dead. Crazy. So I was like, oh, what could I do? But there was Let's one see, yeah. great thing, which is um, the Romanian public transport, during peak hour anyway, seems so quick. So I literally got off the train station, went to the platform, and in like less than a minute, which station? less than a minute it came. Just whatever the next station was. I don't remember what it was called. And I got off, and because it's really easy to navigate, so it was quick, do oh, you think? So well, it was probably separated by 10 minutes max. Yeah. It was quick. It was quite quick. It was surprising, but... Scary. Crazy. Yeah. I found her again. Oh. 